Welcome back everyone to yet another super special episode. And I say super special because me and my new furry friend here are going to take a look at a very special pair of Shell Cordovan Oxfords by Carlos Santos exclusively for the Noble Shoe. Coming up. Well, how's it going everyone? I'm back with another video and another showcase of pair of shoes. Well, I kind of lied in the beginning because my new furry friend doesn't really like to stay in one place for more than two seconds, maybe one and a half. So it will be mostly me doing the review and the showcase. Uh, this will be a rather quick video because I've already done something similar like this before. Uh, if you remember when I, I reviewed and showcased the Shell Cordovan uh, jumper boots and field boots from Carlos Santos, and this one was commissioned around the same time, but due to supply chain shortages and we had to change the tannery and everything, uh, we had to take a break and wait a little longer until they arrived. Uh, this particular one is my pair as well, so I will have some extra feedback and some extra thoughts about it. And generally, I'm very happy with the result and I'm very happy with the tannery and the overall quality that we have had from Carlos Santos before. Uh, it's usual but a little extra because the leather is special. And what we're going to do is, of course, I'm going to take a quick close-up. We're going to talk briefly about the leather, about the construction, about the little details and what makes this pair special. And then, of course, we will discuss availability, even though this was an exclusive one-time thing for the Noble Shoe and really Shell Cordovan, it was really the first time that uh, Carlos Santos worked with it. So we're very proud to have it in our shop, well, had it in our shop. Without further ado, I'm going to continue uh, with a close-up and then we will wrap things up and talk about you know, sizing, availability, general costs and overall the state of the industry. So let's move on. So here we go. This is a close look at these beautiful Adelaide hand-grade Oxfords by Carlos Santos exclusively for the Noble Shoe in Shell Cordovan. Uh, many of the viewers may not know what Shell Cordovan is, so we'll go through that first. Shell Cordovan is not exactly a leather, even though many people call it a leather. It is a, a membrane, a non-porous membrane that comes from the rump of the horse, pretty much from the butt of the horse and it's different from shoes that you find and have the leather of horse hide that's different, that actual horse leather. So Shell Cordovan, uh, because it's not so much out there, you can only get so much out of the horse and it also takes a while to, to make into something like this. It is also much more expensive. It's not considered exactly an exotic, but it is a very high-end material. And this is why it costs a lot. Now, the most famous tannery of them all is probably Horwin from Chicago, producing what you would say the best, but also the most consistent Shell Cordovan in the world. This particular one went through <laughs> a lot of changes. And in the end, we found a new Italian tannery called Gualtiera. Uh, to be fair, I don't know much about them yet, uh, but uh, from what I've seen from this sample and from the feedback of the clients, it has been pretty nice. Some of the features of Cell Cordovan is that it has, as you can see here, it glows a lot. It has a very interesting sheen and it's quite lustrous. This is one of the things that Shell Cordovan has. So it has an unusually high shine and reflectability, you, you might say. And I think that this is great on a pair like this. This is what you call an Adelaide Oxford. So this is a plain toe, so there's no cap toe. Adelaide Oxford, which is, and you can see it recognizable from the U-throat that it has here. And it also has a punched medallion. This model, I think, is the 9713. And it's really, really lovely. We commissioned it on a special last. This is a 387 last, which is one of my favorites. It has a beautiful soft square shape and it's really lovely for the price. And you can see it better from this angle. Speaking about this, you can see the hundred sole of Carlos Santos with a nice uh, beveled waist and a hand painted patina on the bottom. It's really, really high shined. It's uh, very lovely. 
The color is hard to show on camera exactly. It is what you would call color eight or dark burgundy. It's quite dark burgundy. When you're out in the sun, uh, it will develop a different uh, type of uh, color with a bit more reddish hues. And generally, Shell Cordovan is easy to take care of and has a lovely sheen and it will develop great over time. So you can see there is a bit of a broguing around and it's quite a simplistic five eyelet Oxford. Uh, I would say that this makes a really nice model in general for uh, also formal wear if it's in regular calf. Uh, all the details I've already talked about at the start of the show is really the last and the leather itself. Of course, it comes with a hand grade lining, which I like very much because it's a different color. And uh, that's about it. This uh, was a nice quick close up. Of course, you can see they have a really beautiful high end profile that reminds me of some of the lasts of uh, Gaziano Girling. And even from the sides, you know, it's a really beautiful shoe, uh, especially for the price point or when it comes with a uh, calf or not. Uh, that concludes the close-up. I hope you enjoyed it and gave you a nice idea of what Shell Coravan is and how it looks up close uh, on, a, on a model, on a, on a Noxford model like this, which is generally quite formal. Let's move on. And that was the close-up of this particular pair. I'm very happy with how it ended up. Uh, the the wait was quite long. It was almost a year at some point, but you know, supply chain issues, uh, there is conflict in Eastern Europe, uh, there are a lot of logistical issues and shortages in the industry and Italians were not the best at communicating. Uh, so it, it did take a, a while for it to arrive. Uh, this is actually my first Shell Cordovan pair in, in a very long time and uh, I was very happy to, you know, try again and see how I feel about the leather and how much I like it. This particular model, I think the color was uh, was great and beautiful and lustrous and it feels really nice to touch. I really want to wear them more. Uh, it's not exactly the season to wear, you know, suits and formal clothing here in Italy because it's really, really hot and I'm overstretching it by wearing this uh, cotton suit at this moment. But overall, this is something that I can see myself wearing and probably you would see yourself wearing because of the color, dark burgundy, very versatile, it's actually quite dark. Uh, the only problem with these models is the limited availability. First of all, uh, the, we did not buy them in very large quantities, we only made four or five pairs. And when you buy less of the appropriate you know, material, and you know it's not heroin, the cost goes up. The more pairs you make, the cost goes down, of course. So this was a little bit of a harder sell, first of all because it's a hundred construction and second of all because it's Shell Cordovan. So I would say that if this was back in the shop, this would have to cost around 8 to 850 uh, US dollars, probably around 800 we could make it. And uh, it depends on the availability of the leather. There is no other place that has made Shell Cordovan shoes with Carlos Santos. So I'm very proud to be an exclusive partner. I do plan to bring something like this maybe in the future, depends on the demand. So if you're interested in, we would have to make at least five to six pairs. Uh, so you would have to email me or leave a comment and maybe we can work something out. Maybe in a different style as well. As far as the sizing, I really love this last. Uh, this is one of my favorites, especially for the price point. It looks fantastic. This is the 387 and it is one of the few that genuinely runs true to size for 99% of the people. So if you are a UK 8 like me, I would take the same size. If you're a US 9D in shoes like Allen Edmonds, you would also take a UK 8. So one full conversion from your US size. And that's about it. Uh, generally, I will see, uh, I might consider letting this pair go uh, before I actually wear it. And the reason for that is that I really have about 60 pairs of shoes again. So I'm trying to trim my collection down and like really, I have too many. So something has to go. And given that this is a very special sample, I'm contemplating keeping it or finding it a new home with someone that will appreciate it. So if you're interested, I might entertain some thoughts about selling it. So please uh, comment or send me an email. 
And that's about it. Uh, it was a nice quick showcase of uh, what Shell Cordovan is, about uh, the actual shoe, about the Adelaide, about the last, about the design, about the color. It's very versatile, it can match everything, uh, whether it's flashy and more bold like I'm wearing right now, or more conservative and the usual colors people wear. So let me know what you think about Shell Cordovan in general how you take care of it, uh, how you feel about it, if you're interested in it, and of course about this actual model. I'd like to hear your thoughts in the comments. And whether you're uh, you know, a new viewer or an older viewer, I would really appreciate uh, if you subscribe, hit the notifications button, uh, press a like and leave a comment so we can interact and uh, talk about shoes and much, much more. So I will see you in the comment section. Let me know what you guys think and before you go, Let's move on with the bad dad joke of the week. So, what is Wasabi's uh, favorite TV show? Well, apparently it's Claw and Order. <laughs> because he likes to claw and bite everything. Isn't that right? Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.